Dare to try is the right tagline to use on the young girl Mwangala. She entered for the competition when not many Zambian girls could have the courage to do so. My name is Mwangala Manga. I'm 13 years old and I love to read, do a bit of writing. I'm really interested in information technology, IT. In my free time, away from studying and school, I'd like to train myself in web design and stuff like that. I'm uh, Monica Mwanza Maunga. I'm a mother of three, and Mwangala is my firstborn. Mwangala has always grown up to be this girl who's eager to learn new things. She's a fast learner, and she wants to discover things that her age would not even think of. She's a go-getter. When I saw the pop of Girl Awards advert on TV, I was watching Teen Titans Go with my baby brother. So once I saw it, I got really interested because some years back, like two years before, I had been seeing the ad. And I was like, oh, maybe it's just open to certain countries and not Zambia. So I didn't really pay attention. Then it really caught my attention and I decided that, okay, I have something in mind. I researched more about the competition and I saw that 45 countries were participants and Zambia was included and I decided to enter. Out of 3,000 participants and eventually making it to the top, can only be attributed to focus and passion. In November, we were informed that I was the winner in the science and technology category, and I was excited. I'm like, yay, me! <laughs> and the applicants for the category in, in which I entered were over 3,000 applicants, and I was chosen, so it was really impressive. And I'm like, oh, go, girl. I feel that my idea would start a generation or time where an era where clean water is readily available and the causes and effects of contaminated water are reduced. When the cyberbullying started, initially I didn't get to see it. It's Mwangala herself who saw the comments on social media and she came up to me. So she said, okay, have a look. So I could see all the negative talk that was there. I'm a victim of bullying, which is really bad because of going through certain things that ish, even when I think about it now, still touches me. I reached the Otunia National Park, absolutely packed with animals. There's giraffe, there's buffalo, there's kudu, bushbuck, and more notably we have nine white rhinos, which is a very, very rare commodity to find anywhere in the region. It's a, a highly, highly sought after trip to go and see the rhinos by the foreign tourists that come here. And we'd like to encourage you guys as Zambians to also come and see some of the beauty that Zambia has to offer here in Livingston. So notice how these water bags have a ring on their behinds. <laughs> <laughs> There's a funny story behind it, as you see them running there. It is because when Noah was building the ark and loading the animals in, he was painting the toilet. The toilet was the last place he did a touch-up. And these animals didn't have space and they ended up in the toilet and they really wanted to pee. So that's how that ring on their behind happened. I hope you believe that. <laughs> <laughs> 